Hello, I'm Entralissima, and welcome back to Thrum the Depths. Okay, our satellites are almost in position. Uh, the 40 packs is in position over there. We can see a good chunk of land. And the, you can see James, is actually getting into position now. And we can actually see five Deepwater Guard territories, including their main base. This fortress is the base of all the factions' power. It's from here that the fleets are produced. Which means that it's time to wipe out the Deepwater Guard. I think this is the only five they have. They might have a six. But we're very, very close. And I think we can probably wipe them out all in one episode. And to celebrate, we can build a submarine. So, how are we going to do this? Well, we have the Tarquin up here, which can move into the 51. We have the Patrick Craig and the Vinka Backless and the Christopher Doolan. Take out the 21 here. We have the... Storewide Cell, Canny Man, Doodle Hog, and the, hello, wrong one, hello, and the David Potter, which can take out the main base and the 25 at the back. So basically, we're going to blitz them, smash straight through the front lines and do as much damage as possible and get through. It's interesting to note, by the way, we can see another faction now, a fourth faction we can see is the Grey Talons. Hello. And we're probably going to bump into someone new over here, I imagine. It's probably not the Grey Talons all the way down, but well, it could be. Um, I imagine it'll be someone else like the Twin... Hello, Lightning Hoods? Okay, I thought it was going to be Twin Guard. Hello, Lightning Hoods. Well, you learn something new every day. Okay, so it's going to be a charge. I would like Tarquin. Go. Go. You guys. Go. You. Go. And then go right up to the border, because I can't actually see who this territory belongs to. Mwahahaha. Soon you shall be mine! Come on, we can get them. Patrick Craig. Tarquin. Oh, hello. I will take this battle first. Okay, who is it? Who are we up against? Paddle gun. Pickwad. Scrapper. Urchin. Okay. So paddle gun, a submarine, and two little boats. Okay, I just want to be really close and start off like right up in their faces. I can weather the paddle gun fire. Uh, my heli woodens, not heli woodens, he wooden Apaches probably can't. What the hell? Tick, 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 tick. Teleport. Oh, so close. Saturation. Saturation. The paddle gun is breaking apart. The Tarquin has taken 1% damage, although I suspect that may have been from our own missiles being launched by our uh, wooden Apaches hitting us. We've been sparing a few for the, uh... Whoop, hello. Launching missiles at my heli... No, 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 not my helicopters. There we go, they got shot down. Tarquin doing its job there. Wooden Apache is actually doing a great job. Pequod is down. You're down. Wow, that was a 51 strength fleet. I feel pretty good about that. I feel pretty good about that. That is, I think, probably the definitive test of the David Potter class. Yep, I'd like to go see this battle. Can we drag everyone into the battle? Yeah, let's fight everyone at once. Let's do a big battle. Right, who you got? Urchin, Urchin, Flying Squirrel. Not really much of a threat. Davy Jones Outpost. Right, David Potter, you need to get close. Candyman. Uh, you don't need to be close. Doodlehog. Similarly, don't need to be close. Storage Cell. Also, don't need to be that close. I'm going to start people there. We're going to bring everyone in, I think. Yeah, we'll bring everyone in. Go up to 31.1 thousand. 
begin the battle. Oh, 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 let me select. I want to see the David Jones outpost before it's destroyed. It's going to look awesome. Teleport. Destroy this. Oh, I like it. It's got a big ship there. It's got a gate. It's got vertical firing missiles. Oh, it's got little, little ships as well. Got a big cannon. Two of them. I like it. We've destroyed its ammo. I like it. I do like it. It looks pretty awesome. This is the sort of thing that I would acceptably use like a boarding craft to take. Helicopters are incoming. Enemy forces at the back really haven't got into range to engage properly yet. Only superficial damage. Oh, we're targeting the engine, are we? Okay. So much fire coming in at the moment. We're targeting this. What is this? Oh, it's the control room. It looks awesome. I'll give you that. It's really got that vibe from uh, like Waterworld. It feels like a bit of Waterworld. I like that. Level up. Two damaged. <gasps> oh, you're a flying squirrel, I assume. Yeah, you're flying squirrels. Good, I thought it was my helicopters for a moment. No, no, no. My wooden Apaches are too cool for school. They are going down. Looks like the entire command place has been taken off. No? No, it's not been taken off yet. It's a bit damaged, but there we go. Speak of the devil. Come on. That's better. How are we doing? We're spraying it with as much firepower as possible. We've even gone to broadside mode at the moment. In an effort to get more firepower on target. Hello? Taking some damage, probably friendly fire. Over there. Oh, <laughs> urchins taking fire. Poor urchins. And there is something in the sky. It's a flying squirrel! Take it down! Come on, Doodle Hog, why are you not shooting it? You are, actually, you're just missing. Ah, uh, that KKV. Oh, it, it, it's not even a KKV. It was actually an explosive missile, I think. There we go. Now you're going down. Oh, beautiful. Uh, you, yeah, you just cease to exist. AI destroyed. And two damaged, I think. It's a shame I can't really get to you in time. Two damaged. What are you? Please tell me you're an enemy. You look like an enemy. Yes, you were a part of a flying squirrel. And now the urchins. Prepared to die. Beautiful. Keep it up. You are dead. And what about you, mate? Missile. Missile. Boom. Oh, not quite as big a boom as that. There we go. I want to say in that ge in this game, like, I say, oh, that's not as much as I was expecting, or, oh, I thought they'd be dead yet. Like, every time I get paid off, every time it just ceases to, you know, my wishes get fulfilled. There's a combiner holding fire due to failsafe. Good. Really, it's just me waiting the age for this thing to despawn. Although, you know, it's losing a lot of it. Slowly. Slowly it's disappearing. And... Boo! Nope, still there. Still there. Nearly. Nearly. 
There we go. Bloody hell, that took a while. Map screen. There's a lot of ordnance. Hello. Oh, the ha oh, we're taking a fight down here in a second. Okay, why can I not like zoom out more? Oh, it's because I had my binoculars on. There we go. Map. Five seconds. Fine, we'll fight it now. Nope. Cancel battle. I had the wrong person selected. There we go. Right person selected. Begin the battle. I didn't even bother changing range. I'll be honest. They are a fairly small force. I would like to teleport to anyone. Anyone. Seriously. Just let me select one person. Teleport. Oh, oh, actually, it's a, it's a pretty big fight. Oh, hello. What is your name? I want to know your name before I kill you. What are you? I remember, I remember that I love you. Moray, yes, I love Morays. They're awesome. Taking a lot of damage. But look at it, look at it. It's so awesome. It's armored, it looks cool. It's got cannons and spinning things and... Just it looks awesome. It need it looks the part it needs to look. I really like it. Um, and it could actually pose a legitimate threat to my forces because it's actually got cannons that can do um, enough damage to get through wing zero armor. I mean, not that that's particularly hard. But... Ah, I wonder how much damage the lasers do. Reasonable. The missiles, of course, are going to destroy it from every which way. Like, it has an anti-missile system, but it's just not enough. There we go. We have taken some damage. The Christopher Doolan, especially. How bad? We lost an entire wing. I'm going to actually assume that was friendly fire from being near you. And you know what? I'm probably going to be right. Too damaged. It's a shame to see such a majestic vessel destroyed in such a way, but... Oh well. Boom. And despawning, 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 despawning. Spawning. Minus seven seconds. Minus eight. Minus nine. Minus ten. Minus eleven. And you are dead, Mr. Moray. Whew. Okay. Don't know what that was about. Uh, I'd like you to move up to the edge. Um... Storage cell. Oh, you're actually damaged. Okay, move up. David Potter. If you can take on this 25. I want to build a, an Alcatraz's class outpost here. Um, so I'm going to take control of the Doodlehog. Right, where is that outpost? Directly ahead, okay. Uh, well, where I'm going to put the outpost. To turn the AI to off. Full speed ahead! Come on. Please spawn me an Alcatrazes. And you will now be the Charles Judge.
Okay. And if I can then turn on my AI again. Please repair. Can I just select the entire force and... Fine. Do it this way. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Pull all. Ten times speed. Storage cell. If you can move to, like, the northern frontier. We'll take down the last of the Deepwater Guard. It's a good one times speed, because I believe we can move the UKZ James up a little bit further. To here. We can actually see into the enemy force. Time speed, and I will take you down. What are you? Urchin and a Pequod. You've really chosen the wrong person to fight on, but here we go. Start over here. We can battle. And five, four, three, two, one. Warp to force. Yep, the urchin starts on land, but that is your fault. And explodes instantly, because it was actually flying. The Pickrod, on the other hand... Ah, oh, didn't. Torpedoes. No, those are missiles, actually. Bam. Torpedoes. Have the torpedoes launched? Imagine they must have. Yeah, they launched, but they're going the wrong direction for some reason. Boom. Little helicopters didn't know really what to do. Where's the other one? I see three. Where is our fourth? One, two, three. Hmm. We must have lost one at some stage. We've lost drone two. Which means... I don't have a vehicle spawner on here, do I? Oh, no, we do. We do. We do. Okay, I would like you to spawn. We could launch an RF Sandman. Because I have changed them up, and hopefully they'll work now. No, we'll have a little wooden Apache. Hold it until it's fully built and at a distance of 30. Ready? Nearly? Bye! I do believe you might be upside down, but anyway. I didn't assign you! God damn it! What have we got facing us? Flying squirrel. Scrapper. I can't tell. Probably not saying anything we have to worry about. Okay. Prepare to die. Oh god. Missiles everywhere. Don't hit me with your missiles. Boom. Boom. It's a thumper firing. Turning very slowly. Oh, you, oh, you want a precision spin block rather than a normal spin block? I wonder. You do look like you're trying to lift a little bit. I can't tell. Might be a little bit tough to kill you. We will get you eventually. Hey, we clipped it. 
There we go. That's the helicopter there. Oh, God. Camera nearly got hit. That's the helicopter there. That's all the helicopters work. Thank you, Combat Air Patrol. Build mode. 360. It's a 360, so it should be able to point up. It was just having issues because it was too close range, I guess. And it doesn't turn fast enough. Hmm. Okay. Oh, right. Oh, let's go back to the map. 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 There we go, finally. Pull all. I would like to spawn you in. Come on, David Potter. I believe in you. And I would like to assign you. Okay. Ah, oh, there's one last. There's a 41 there. Okay, pull all. You're going down. The last of the deep water guard. And then we'll have, I think, one, two, three people bordering us we'll have to pick from. Okay. To war. Prepare to buy it. Buy? Prepare to buy. Consumers, prepare to die. There we go. Moray and a Pequod. Okay, another Moray. I do not mind that battle at all. Why am I moving in close? I want to be at range. Vinko Backless up here. Actually, let's just make sure we start in their actual sector. Christopher Doolan. The Patrick Craig. Start the Patrick Craig a little bit further in. Okay. Ah, we run out of ammo way too fast with those missiles. Okay. We should probably put a limit on what range they fire at. Because I don't know if they're actually going to hit the target. Oh, oh, yeah, they did. Oh, they got shot at. Yeah, they got shot down. But still, that means something else probably hit the target. There's enough ordnance going up at the Mori right now. Notice how I'm just ignoring the Pequod. We have torpedoes for that. It's ripping the bottom out of it slowly. KKVs are just missing. Too, too far away to really get there. They're just like going into like, oh, I'm out of fuel. Fall out of the air. But we should have this more. Oh, it's listing. It's listing. We should have this more down pretty soon. Hello, Pequod. You've, you've been ignored. Oh, didums. Come on. We've got torpedoes for you. Oh, God, you're actually shooting at my wing zero, which is not a good idea. That said, your cannon rounds are kind of failing. Because, you know, water. Wow, you are really short ranged. Well, don't worry, you'll die shortly. So you shoot down the missile swing zero. It looks like you're taking hits to your ammo hold. That's not good. To be completely honest, that's really not good. Seriously, you're not going to shoot the Pequod. It's right next door. It's shooting you in the armor around your ammo supply, point blank. I do suggest you shoot it. There we go. The laser's starting to strip it of armor. Very slowly. I think maybe because they're actually not meant to be shooting at you. They're meant to be shooting the thing behind you, but okay. We're trying to shoot you, bless it. No, no, we're not even trying to shoot you. Come on! Someone shoot the Pequod, for God's sake. It's getting a little bit ridiculous. I 
I mean, I could take manual control, but... Uh, yeah, you know, the air needs to learn. And they can learn by blowing up. That's, that's a very common learning experience in my experience. You know what I mean. Where's the tech pod now? Here. I guess it's taking some damage from the broadsides, which can't shoot anything else. But it's still... It's still getting basically a free pass. Come on. There we go. They should ignore salvage. So any second now, they're going to retarget. And retargeting. Three, two... One, no. Continue to shoot the salvage. Really? Really? There we go. <gasps> torpedo. Good torpedoes. Good torpedoes. And you are now salvage. Bye bye. Wow, you just lost your entire front end. I mean, you do look cute like that, just circling around with, like, one fin in the tail and nothing else, but still. Woohoo! We win. I'm happy about that. That is the end of the Deepwater Guard. There are no more Deepwater Guard. They are extinct. Their species has been wiped away. The slate wiped clean for a new, more ordered society. Oh, hello, Great Talons. Now, we have to choose our new enemy. The Onyx Watch, the White Flayers, or the Lightning Hoods. And possibly the Great Talons, although that does involve going through someone else's territory. Oh, they're reinforcing their front lines, are they? Well... I don't know. I don't know. The, the thing is, the white, white flares are kind of our allies. Um, I like you to auto repair. So I don't feel, you know, going up against the white flare, the white flares. Yeah, the white flares. I was going to say the white slayers, and I was like, that's not exactly their name. I don't feel going up against the white flares is exactly what we want to do, considering they're our friends. Because you know, courtesy, you don't tend to stab your friends in the face. Friendly. There we go. Um, suspicious, suspicious, suspicious. Everyone else is suspicious, so that's fine. Now, the question is, let's pull up, um... Onyx Watch. Who are you allied with? Friendly with the Lightning Hoods. So, if we went to war with the Lightning Hoods, we'd probably end up, uh, maybe fighting the Onyx Watch and vice versa. Allied till the end. Okay, the Scarlet Dawn and the Onyx Watch. We would end up fighting the Scarlet Dawn. Which is fine. They're the other end of the map. They probably wouldn't come down and attack us. If they do, that would be interesting. Um, do you have a choice of the Lightning Hoods? Who are allied to the end with the Scarlet Dawn? Huh. Okay. Well, we're in this sort of interesting circumstance where if we fight the Lightning Hoods, we have to fight the Scarlet Dawn. If we fight the Onyx Watch, we have to fight the Scarlet Dawn. The White Flayers, on the other hand... Are merely friendly with them. Hmm. I don't know. I am I am fully up to whatever people suggest in the comment section. We will be having a little bit of time to rearm, rebuild, um, before we actually go to war next. So there will be a few episodes of building and stuff. And I think we'll do a sub next because, you know, people have been asking for one. It'd be quite nice to get a little bit of a missile sub. Just one that just spams missiles everywhere. Uh, but that'll be it for this episode. If you like, please like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. We have a million metals, so that'll be our budget for our next ship. Anyway, until next time, stay shiny. And do not be in the Deepwater Guard because you suck and I will pummel you to the ground and we will win and destroy you. I assume they're dead, right? Like, can we just confirm that they're dead? Faction info. Deepwater Guard, 0%. The Deepwater Guard live in the desert archipelago of Yamwal and use a variety of airships and salvage vehicles to defend themselves and traverse the expensive desert they call home. 
group of people cast off from any real territory. They scavenge old derelict ships and spice them into getting into floating homes. Due to isolation, living out on the water, they are a little crazy in their design or reflects this. Yeah. Awesome. Stay shiny, everybody.